again joined on the line. One of the stars of UHF, Mr. Getty Watanabe. Getty, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be wherever I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's been 25 years. 25 years. It's hard to say. 25. Oh, I, my God. I, that long. I watched this movie so much when I was a kid. I loved this movie growing up. It's been 25 years. Uh, and, and you can you can probably quote every line, right? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and you have the best. You do. You do. You have the best two lines in the movie for sure. You, <laughs> I mean, any time any time that closet opens and, and you yell out supplies, I lose my shit. Honestly. <laughs> Hey, anytime I watch I, the movie I, Alien and Sigourney Weaver is ready to go up against the alien, I want to say, are you ready, Weaver? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> well, I, you know, I, I drive whenever in, in L.A. and whenever I get, you know, cut in front of, I just, I just yell at the, the car next to me. You're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's my remedy for LA drivers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I you know I, I couldn't imagine being on that set when when you're saying those lines. I, I mean, did you have to do take after take after take, especially especially the Wheel of Fish one? I I don't know if I could have uh, <laughs> kept a straight face on that one. You know, uh, I think I couldn't recover at the table read. I kind of remember the table read, but then when you got on set, you kind of like got it together somehow. But I remember the I remember the audition the table I I couldn't figure I couldn't even get the lines out at some point. So it was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> and I was I couldn't believe I was being paid for this too. So it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so what? What did you? come up with like the way you delivered your line the way you played the character was that something that you discussed ahead of time was that all you was it written that way i gosh i i'm trying to remember you know i think it just sort of came out that way it didn't there was nothing really planned it just kind of made sense at the time you know i, I guess it, it i guess the 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 harder you said the line but out loud, the better it, it it made people laugh. So probably take after take, it, it went. I got more and more and more bigger. <laughs> of, you know what I mean? Bigger, probably. And you know, you're waiting. You're waiting to hear what the crew does, and if they laugh, then you're okay. <laughs> you, have, you have an audience. So you have the audience. You've got the crew laugh there, and that's that's about all you can count on. So you know. <laughs> now, how did you get involved with the film? Uh, was it was it something that uh, uh, you know, you got the script and and, wow. and and you just loved it or I you know I'm trying to even remember that 25 years ago I had I'm pretty sure I I'm pretty sure I I auditioned I mean there was I think I I did I don't know if they had offered it to me you know that's a question that I can, I don't even remember <laughs> you know it's one of those things that kind of like you know you just I kind of remember auditioning, but then I don't know if it was. I can't remember. Because <laughs> I mean, you, you had you had done some pretty pretty good roles, pretty big roles prior to that already. I I just assumed that you know, like they saw it and it's like, hey, this is our guy, you know. Well, I'm hoping that's what it was too. But I can't <laughs> that. I, I can't I can't claim any of that. Well, that's right what now. we're gonna say. <laughs> no, we're just gonna say it right now. That Weird Al saw it, Getty. He's a, I must have this guy. He's a great actor. He has to, he has to play this role. He has to yell out, "You're so stupid!" and save the movie. So. Oh well, there you go. Okay, well, that's fact now. You, better, you can ask him that too, because yeah. he might have a better memory. <laughs> I, I really do not remember the process. All I remember is Tulsa, Oklahoma, and the praying ham. <laughs> I think the hotel was near the praying hands in, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. You know, there's those hands that are, I forgot what the university was, but I remember always going by there <laughs> and thinking, boy, this film better work. <laughs> <laughs> so what I really think is most impressive about your, about your, uh, your role in that film is you, 
you managed to really kind of become the most memorable up against comedy titans like Michael Richards and Weird Al and, you know, you got even Fran Dresser, who's a very funny lady. I mean, and when you think UHF, you're thinking, stupid, you know, <laughs> you're thinking of Cooney, you know, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. And it's just, it's unbelievable. You know, I would, I, I have to say something. I, I, I was given great lines in a lot of movies in the 80s. <laughs> it was just given to me. <laughs> it was the luck of the draw, right there. <laughs> so while while you were on set, did you actually ever try a Twinkie Wiener sandwich? Uh, no, I don't recall that, but I'm certainly willing. That sounds kind of neat, actually. <laughs> <laughs> a stinky weenie sandwich. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> you know, you had you you had a bit of you you've definitely faced a bit of controversy over, over you know your some of the roles you had played back in the eighties. Oh God, yeah. Oh sure, in the, what, sure in the... what is what are your feelings? Just in a general sense, what are your feelings on using racial stereotypes for humor? Oh, I think you know. This is what the problem was for me in the 80s. The problem for me in the 80s is I don't think there were too many, you know, Asian role models basically out there. I think today it's a little better, you know, a little better, but it is better. You've got some really great actors out there, Asian actors out there. And I think that, uh, I think it's, it's loosened, you know, loosened the collars of, 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 uh, of audiences a little bit better now. So, you know, I think you can, I, I think there's limitations, but it's better, you know, and, and, uh, uh, I just think that what happened was that, you know, I, at that time, it felt like I was the only one out there. So I was like, you know, in, in dark space. <laughs> you know, you're right because it, like a lot of people, I've, you know, friends of mine have, have brought up and I myself know it seemed in the eighties. For Asian actors, there was you, Brian Tochi, and the kid from Goonies. And right. it seems like <laughs> Those were the only yeah. three. Yeah. Uh, yes, and, and if you put the three of us together, you got the three stooges. Right? Yep. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> sort of like that. And there wasn't very much represented then at that time. So I think it was kind of about that. And, and you, know, you know, I think humor is coming back. And thank God, hopefully. And uh, so is so are the other images that are coming out uh, for Asian after. So there you go. <laughs> well, st- sticking with the same theme, I must say that you're also in one of my favorite Simpsons episodes of all time. The, the, Mr. Oh, wow. the Mr. Sparkle episode. Oh, hilarious. <laughs> every, every time I watch that episode and it's just like, you know, hey, chief, let's talk. You have many questions about Mr. Sparkle. I lose my shit every single time. It's very funny. <laughs> Wow, you did the research. I don't even remember half of these things. Oh man. <laughs> well, I'm I'm sure you will remember this one though. Uh, one of my favorite movies as well is Gung Ho, and uh, that oh, just yeah. seemed like such an awesome project work, working with Michael Keaton, and 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 uh, it just seemed like yeah. an awesome awesome uh, project. It, what was that like? Oh, it was it was an amazing. I, I you know when you work with. Ron Howard, you you you're taken care of. You know, it's a, it's an extraordinary, uh, extraordinary. I recommend it to every actor. <laughs> 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 Believe me, I do. It's a, it's a great thing to to have had. You know, in my career. So I was very proud of that movie. <laughs> no, it's it's fantastic, and, and I mean, you were you were great in it, and the the dynamic with you and Keaton, uh, especially uh, w- when you're drunk. That's uh, that's always uh, <laughs> that's always some great stuff right there. <laughs> yeah, and and look at Michael now. I think uh, he just uh, that uh, he just that. I'm sorry. What's the name of the movie? I just saw it, and I can't remember. Did did uh, the movie that he just finished? Oh, Birdman. Um, oh, Birdman. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, fantastic movie, and what a great performance. So, what a great performance. Yeah, I still need to see that. It looks. Yeah, great. I, I want to see it too. Oh, yeah. it's. So amazing! I I I, I was I was stunned. By yeah, I always liked Michael Keaton. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. You know, I always liked him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Well, I think everybody's trying to, you know, in one sense or another, go through a, a reinvention, I guess, if that's the right word, you know, trying to trying to put something out there. So, um, But it, it's a spectacular vehicle for him. He really just shines in it. Pretty amazing. Yeah, and it, and it's great to see him again, isn't it? I mean, yeah. really seriously. I I I I, I said, when I walked out of the movie, I said, God, I really miss seeing Michael. Key. I <laughs> miss seeing him. So it's it's wild, you know. <laughs> so one thing I was uh, interested in is, um, you, your your name is Gary, but apparently you got from what I heard, Getty from your grandfather. Is this true? Yeah. Who, yeah, he, can, uh, he couldn't say Gary, so it was always Getty Son, Getty Son, Getty. So, so yeah, it kind of that's how my name uh, ended the way it did. <laughs> I think that's fantastic. Yeah, that's great. Um, but apparently, your grandfather was like quite an incredible man. Oh, now how do you know that? Oh my God! Hey, yeah, I'm a fan. Well, my <laughs> my my uh, grandfather's history is it starts uh, from Japan to South America in 1903. So yeah, he's an extraordinary. He was uh, uh, he was quite uh, what do you call it a um, a gaucho kind of like entrepreneur. He truly he was looking for the American dream type of man. He was he was quite amazing. So and, I kind of know where I, I got some of my hood stuff from. <laughs> <laughs> and I had also heard that you had written a film about him. I did, yes, and we're still trying to figure that one out, but. <laughs> You know, eventually, you know, these things take time. So, uh, yes, absolutely. It's still, uh, it's still a burn working, working title type of thing. So, yeah, there you go. Well, well, once you but, get that on uh, Kickstarter, it'll let be us done know. Before I die. <laughs> <laughs> get that thing on Kickstarter. We'll get the word out. We'll help raise you the funds through okay. Kickstarter. Let us know. Yeah. <laughs> really? No. It's like, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, there you go. Did you ever get a chance to work alongside of Jim Henson when you did your years on Sesame Street? You know, uh, uh, yes, when I first started, I did see Jim every once in a while there. And, um, and uh, gosh, it was great. It was, all, all, you know, they always had those great stars that came through, you know, and did those cameos and stuff like that. And it was just it was, I remember, God, who I remember? I remember like Pavarotti and Denzel Washington and all these wonderful people that just sort of came in and did their little thing and then went in and out. And it was pretty, uh, it was a great time. I really enjoyed that show, doing that show. Oh, yeah, you I, could I, tell I, you looked like you were having fun on it. I, I fought for that show. To, and actually, I wrote a letter to them because I asked, because I said that there weren't enough Asians. Well, there weren't any Asians on Sesame Street, and they were kind of like, hmm, you're right. And so hopefully I was one of the catalysts for, for that, you know, saying, like, you know, we need to be represented. So I think I've been four or five years with them. Yeah, and um, I think, actually, it, there have been steady Asian characters on ever since. Well, there you go. Yeah. There's a, there's a, I could be proud of ground. that. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Getty, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. It's been fun. Yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> thank you. Take care. Bye.